Greetings from Team Rex team. Today we will talk about a mouse helper that you can see in some of our latest themes and plugins. It's a little dot that chases your mouse cursor while you navigate through the site. We will learn how to enable, disable and customize it. In this particular case it will be black dot on the light background and it will turn to the light one on the dark background. Also, on some sections it transforms and looks differently, so let's go ahead and see how it works. In your WordPress dashboard navigate Theme Panel, Theme Racks Add-ons. Then scroll down and find a Mouse Helper section. Here you can replace the system cursor, enable and disable a mouse helper and customize some of its settings. First, let's replace the system cursor. Choose the new image for it. It should be less than 100 pixels. I will upload a 99 pixels wide PNG image. Also, we can upload the image that will be used when you hover a link. I will upload a different 99 pixels wide PNG image. Now let's save the changes and update our page to check results. Ok, good. Now we have a new cursor for our mouse. And when we hover on some of the links, it changes to the alternative one. Our mouse helper is still here though. If you want to completely disable it, go back to our mouse helper settings and switch it off. Then again click on the Save Options button and update our page. Ok, good, the mouse helper has gone away and we only have our cursor. Let's go back and turn it on again and see what else we can do with it. For example, let's change the delay. The smaller the number, the faster it chases the mouse. I will give it 5 and save the changes. Now again refresh the page and see how it works. Ok, now it reacts slightly faster than before. Let's make it 3. Again, save the changes and reload the page. And now it's significantly faster. Now let's open the page with Elementor and customize the mouse helper's behavior for the particular element. You can assign custom effects for your mouse helper on each element on your page. Let's choose this section as an example. Just click on it and then go to the Advanced tab. There you will find a mouse helper menu. Enable the mouse helper by switching this control on. You will see lots of different settings and effects that will be triggered when you hover this section. For now the trigger is only hover, but there will be more soon. Then we can hide the system cursor, place it in the center, enable the magnet effect when the section will float and move towards your mouse pointer. Let's see how it works. Give it a distance 20 pixels and click update. Then click on the view page. Now when we scroll down to the section, it will have this magnet effect. It is quite convenient when you have some call to action blocks on your site. Let's go back to Elementor and explore more features we can use. First, let's turn off the magnet effect for now. Now let's make the background transparent. Then we will add some text that will pop up when we hover the section. First, let's give it a white color. Then choose the overlay effect. And again, here you will find lots of different overlay types. Just play around with them to see which one works better for you. I'll go with the normal type. Let's add some delay for triggering the effect. And then type in our text that we want to display when the visitor comes to the section. I will make the size of the text pretty big. 
enable the rotation for the text in the circle. We also can add an icon here, we will skip it for now. And also we can add an image, let's pick one from our library. Let's save the changes and refresh our page. Ok, good, when we hover on this section our mouse helper turns into this image and rotating text in a circle, and it follows us all the time. You can also make it follow you by one of the axes, for example, if you choose the motion axis by X only, the mouse helper will move horizontally only. And if you switch to the Y axis, it will move vertically only. As you can see, there is plenty of room for ideas and creativity. And you can switch off the axis alignment and text rotation if you don't really like them. Hope this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe for more useful tutorials.